Greetings everyone and welcome back to the very last build of Winter Wonderland Zoo. Today we are putting in the iconic, the essential, the unparalleled reindeer. Also known as caribou, unless of course they can fly. So the question is, can they? Stick around and find out. The fence that I opted for is pretty simple. Um, well, at least on the front part. In the in the back over here, I did some copy pasting of the moose and beaver log wall. But the the fence that separates the uh, the reindeer from the guests is not exactly heavy duty because it doesn't need to be. These are Santa's reindeer, so of course they're tame and uh, they don't mind a little scratch behind the ear which is also why the fence is so close to the path. Of course, the reindeer deserve a cozy place to sleep. And uh, also a fence that's not messed up. Let's get some Christmas magic in there. Pretty. And if anybody's wondering about this rather heavy-duty door for some tame, non-dangerous reindeer, the door is not there to protect anyone from the reindeer, but to protect the reindeer from the cold. Although they do live in both taiga and tundra biome, which means that uh, they're very well equipped to deal with cold. But just because you can survive something doesn't make it pleasant, and Santa loves his reindeer. the reindeer eat those oranges, you wonder? Of course they will, and that's okay. Who doesn't love it when snacks hang from the ceiling? I mean, haven't personally experienced it, but... Hmm. Now I'm getting mental images of chocolate hanging from the ceiling. Fudgesicles. Where's that word from? I've heard that before. Yeah, that uh, deer plaque, the Arctic one, that, that one went abray pretty quickly when I realized it was not a deer head, it was a deer skull. And we don't want to scare the reindeer. We do, however, want to cover up the edge of that flickering floor.
looks a little big. That's better. And the reindeer are here! <laughs> nah. Okay, when you speed up the reindeer in order to speed up the foliage work, they look um, kind of ridiculous. Now they're frozen. I really like that new grass from the latest update. We have several types of grass that I really like. As you can see. <laughs> Now, reindeer don't actually eat grass. I mean, I'm sure they nibble on it if it's there, but what they mainly eat is something as specialized as the lichen that grows on trees. Now, I said that the reindeer are iconic, and I'm not taking that back. But the most iconic thing about them is their job of pulling Santa's iconic sled. Which obviously I have to build. Now this was not easy. But once I found these Asian wood pieces, it became so much simpler because the size just worked. The shapes I needed were all there. I bet that whoever created these pieces for the Asian pack had no idea that what they were actually making was a sled. Even these pieces, which I also used for the fence at the train station, even they have a place here, although not quite there. There you go. Apart from the metal at the bottom, I think these fence toppers and the pillows are the only pieces that are not from the Asian pack. I didn't even have to change the color. And there we are. The elves have put some of the presents in it, but it can hold a lot more, because it's magic. But um, what's this area back here? It looks very empty. I wonder what you could use a long, narrow, empty piece of land for when you have a flying sled and flying reindeer and there are lights along the edges. I guess if for some reason you needed to fly in the dark, that might be useful. With these finishing views of the last habitat of Winter Wonderland Zoo, I leave you. I would like to thank every one of you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it half as much as I have. It's been a challenge, but it's also been a lot of fun to build an entire zoo like this, doing nothing else in between.
I hope the rest of this year treats you well. Whether you celebrate Christmas, something else, or nothing at all. And I will see you in the new year. Thank you.